Hi, I'm John McCoy. I'm a Catholic artist. You're watching the digital painting process behind my commissioned illustration entitled Seeking His Guidance. Here you see the digital composition. This is my digital painting reference created in the app Procreate on the iPad Pro using the Apple Pencil. You know, this thing is pretty nifty. It's actually got a decent amount of pressure sensitivity levels. You know, I've used the Wacom Cintiq 22 HD for a while, probably over three years now. And, um, well, I can tell the difference, but this does the job. It's got enough pressure levels that it really does feel like traditional media. And if you can tell the difference, it still does the job. I also used Autodesk Sketchbook. It's an app as well to do a couple of sketch iterations for this prop, this painting before it was this refined. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know they had a time-lapse video recording button built into that app, so I did not activate that, and I don't have any footage from those Autodesk sessions. Uh, I will say Autodesk is impressive. The simulated texture of the pencil tools um, is maybe a little better than Procreate, but Procreate has so many good features that it's my go-to. Um, I think it's the layer systems and, and so forth are similar to um, the Adobe Suite. And I've, I've been used to using Adobe Suite because I, I used it in college and I used it you know, for years uh, doing my digital painting. So it, workflow wise, it's syn more synonymous for me that's why I use it. Um, but this, of course, I will be, as with other digital painting process videos, I'll be discussing my process, talking about the ideas behind my work and, and how that, that formulates and how that the, uh, the digital formulates. And what's interesting about the digital is actually this is the stage in the painting process where the painting literally is unfolding from that blank white canvas because before that there's there's no ideas, I don't have anything before that. Uh, it's the first marks on the page, so to speak. Uh, so the piece is of my client and Jesus and a lot of special compositional elements that are personal to the client, which will be a, a source of comfort and inspiration for him. This, the compositional space, the imagined space that I've created for these figures is sort of a combination of his at home and at work office, which are both creative spaces for him. So I really enjoyed designing this piece. Um, and again, the, the grid, the compositional grid plays a big role in my designing process. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how that philosophically integrates into uh, my broader philosophies about composition, design, and so forth. So take a look at this video um, and be sure, to, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like, you can hit that, the bell button. There's a bell button um, that when you, when you click that, you will get notified every time a video comes out. So that's pretty cool. Um, and, and like and comment and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Uh, God bless you guys and enjoy the video. Before the painting process, I'd like to briefly philosophically discuss the art historical grid. Though its length and width may change, the proportionality and visual language structure of the timeless rectangular painting surface is both mathematical and unchanging. Hidden between the four points is any given rectangle's fixed proportional information, and that can be found out by drawing two points into a line. We very quickly identify the midpoints, the quadrants, the thirds, and establish a weave of lines which act as a guide for the placement of key compositional elements during ideation. The grid is merely a suggestion for placement and opportunity for the Holy Spirit to guide me and work through me. During the blank white phase approaching a composition depicting our Lord with my client, some of my first thoughts addressed placing Jesus in the right compositional space of authority. How do I do that? 
planning for a standing pose versus the sitting pose of my client. Also, in Western culture, we read left to right both in books and paintings. Artworks should co-create and echo the creation of God. Visual art is largely multifaceted in the functionality and potential of its metaphorical language, and the vessel of sketching and painting captures tracings of the subtleties in my imagination during the creative process. So, as with many of my paintings, sensing a truth in language that because of left to right read, the source of a painting is synonymous with its origin and its beginning. At the same time, the space on the rectangular surface our eyes meet first, the top left. Authority therefore exists within that space as it leads the composition and speaks the first note, placing our Lord therefore more near to that upper left space of authority by comparison to the subject my client honors our Lord, doubly so by my intentionality in doing so. And this does reveal a little of how compositional grids work in tandem with the creative process and are another platform for the Holy Spirit to work through. All of my paintings are of man and his relationship to the light, i.e. God. This narrative is playing in symphony with other individual narratives, depending on each painting. How figures relate visually to the light in any given painting tells a more particular story. I placed Jesus near to the light. Nearness in painting denotes relationship or makes elements synonymous. In this painting, I enjoyed being able to compositionally connect Jesus and the light source, suggesting oneness. This figure becomes light with a hand to offer a guiding touch to the subject, my client. As always, I am aware of the rules of composition, such as keeping the eye in the picture, you may first gaze upon the top left and find our Lord's face, follow his touch to the subject, or sweep as a clock arm clockwise to each picture on the wall on the composition's right. When your eyes finally wander to the floor, the dog's glance will direct you to the other dog, and that dog glance will send you back to the heart of the composition. These and other elements not only serve this compositional function, but are personal inclusions for my client and add deep meaning to the piece. Juggling colors, scale, perspective, and much more is all part of the digital painting process. I'm fleshing out the design. The beauty of digital media is being able to utilize the same muscle memory and traditional media handling skill set with the benefits of making subtle adjustments toward perfection. Of course, the goal is not to create what we call in the illustration and graphic design industry a pixel-perfect product, say for a magazine commission going straight from the digital platform to print. Rather, this is a digital reference. I create it to sit on a simple music stand by my painting easel for myself to reference proportion and color.